All right, good morning. Everybody gather around for the day that many of you have been waiting for for a very, very, very long time. Let's give it up for the New Children's Park, everybody. Can you? You know, you, you know you're in downtown when you have to shout up to the towers to say hi to the residents. So hello, everybody. You look like you're having a lovely time. We'll be over shortly, OK? <laughs> Uh, welcome to downtown. Welcome to the Marina neighborhood. I'm pleased this morning to be joined by City Council President Pro Tem and the representative for District 3, Council Member Stephen Whitburn. Stephen, good to see you. The Chair of Civic San Diego, my friend Maddie Kilkenny is here. Maddie, thank you very much. And last but certainly not least, Betsy Brennan, President and CEO of the Downtown San Diego Partnership. Betsy, thank you to you and your team for all that you do to keep us clean and safe here in downtown San Diego. So let me just dive right in, if I may. A truly great 21st century city is filled with great public places that bring us together, that inspire us, and help rejuvenate our spirit. The great public spaces across the country and around the world are with us long after we visit them. We relish them, we take photos in them. It's the 21st century, we post about them. Uh, but we hold on to those experiences and we capture them with energy and with imagination. And we want to have that kind of experience right here. San Diegans have long known Children's Park as an untapped resource and a potential for being a truly great public place. And today, we are here to break ground and start the process of transforming this park. When this project is finished next summer, it will be opened up for the public and others to enjoy, communicate a more inviting experience, invite more folks to come here and enjoy this beautiful corner of our Civic Center. It will be energized by a child's play area as well as an adult exercise area. It'll have new picnic and lawn areas, and what I would suspect will be one of the most popular features, an off-leash dog run for downtown residents. Where are the dog owners at? I see you, yeah, I knew it. It will also be a destination with a vendor that serves foods and food and drink, and there'll be a public restroom with an assigned attendant. This park will feature a new walkway through the Civic Pond and a new public art, uh, uh, new public art uh, by artist uh, Mickey uh, E. Was <laughs> I tried all night, you know, I was practicing this. It is not that difficult, but you know, the mayor still gets a little nervous too, right? <laughs> Mickey uh, Isakawa, oh no, Isakai, I apologize, Mickey, uh, who was with us here this morning. You'll want to ask about the art piece. Uh, the revitalization of the Children's Park uh, enhances our downtown's walkability and helps us to reach our climate action plan goals. I want to thank Civic San Diego for shepherding this development process, uh, project through the process, particularly Gretchen Hare, Daniel Kay, and its president, uh, Andy Phillips. These projects, actually, I need to go a little deeper on that because uh, we were, <laughs> Daniel and I were discussing how long I've been on his case about this particular project. Many of you may recall my time as your city council member. That's when this project kind of got going. And none of these projects are easy. It's not because we don't have quality staff that are on it, but when you're dealing with the public process, we have to invite the public in. And I want to thank Civic San Diego staff for being persistent, never losing track of this project. Downtown is a large area. There are a lot of needs, but they understood that this was a priority. And to Danny, Gretchen, and, and Andy, I appreciate uh, what you guys do. So round of applause for our Civic San Diego staff, please. Now let me tell you some other names that were really instrumental in getting us to this part and will be instrumental in getting us across the finish line. I want to recognize them because we want them really happy and working hard on our behalf, right? So Amelia Capron with Spurlock Landscape uh, Architects. Uh, right on, give it up for Amelia. Uh, Ross Duenas with Chen Ryan Associates. JT Barr with Schmidt Design Group. Where's JT at? Here? Okay. Christine Jones, our Chief of Civic Art Strategies for the Commission on Arts and Culture. Right on, Com Arts and Culture. And from our Park and Recreation Department, some of my favorite people, Andy Field. Is Andy Field here? Where's he at? No. I'm sure he's attending to some other park in the city. Trust me. I know how he works. Uh, Steve Pollier, uh, Tyler Canales, and Sh uh, Shamil Tarbell from our Park and Recreation Department. And we also have a number of other Park and Rec workers who are here. Park and Rec folk, thank you guys for what you do. They have a tough job. There's a lot of parks, a lot of things going on in the parks. I thank our Park and Recreation staff. 
And last but certainly not least, our Downtown Community Planning Council. These are the citizen residents, business owners, folks that show up month after month uncompensated, but with the sole purpose of trying to make this neighborhood better. To every member of the Downtown Planning Council, I deeply appreciate your support, as well as all the area residents who participated in the multiple workshops and other opportunities we had to invite public, uh, public input. We talked about the exercise area, the dog run, the public art. That was input that you all provided, the city staff internalized turned into a project that the vendors I just talked about will actually help construct. You see it's all connected. It's part of why the process is long, but the good news is, is the end is in sight. So I know that at the end of this process, when we were back here again, I like a good groundbreaking, but I love a ribbon cutting. When we're back here for the ribbon cutting, we will be able to deliver to you a project that you will be proud of, that will make your neighborhood better, that San Diegans will feel good about, that visitors who come to our iconic convention center will step out and see and be uh, and enjoy. And then hopefully as the mayor of the city who needs that tourist revenue, come back to the city again and again and again, because it's those tourist dollars that pave those roads, pay our police officers and keep our libraries open. So it's all a part of a strategy. And I thank you all for being here today to help mark this occasion. Many of you have been very, very patient some of you have been impatient. Most of you have been very patient and waiting for this day. That's why we need to mark this particular occasion. And again, why I look forward to coming back here in the not distant future to cut the ribbon on. Well, if you were listening earlier, I said next summer. You're welcome. <laughs> I love my job, everybody. So let me introduce uh, the council member for District 3, my friend and my partner in governing here in downtown San Diego, Stephen Whitburn, everybody. Stephen. Thank you very much, Mayor. Good morning, everybody. This groundbreaking has been a long time coming, and it is great to be here with all of you here, with those of you across the street, with those of you watching from above. It's great to see everybody. For San Diegans and for visitors from around the world, Children's Park is one of our main gateways to downtown. When this revitalization is complete, this will be another point of pride for our city. It'll be a welcoming place for neighborhood residents, for downtown workers, and for tourists alike. I'm proud to represent downtown on our city council and many of my constituents have reached out to me in recent months asking when these improvements would begin. Well, I am happy to say that today is the day. I wanna thank the mayor for approving yet another project to make our city better. I appreciate my fellow council members for unanimously approving the project budget when it came before the San Diego City Council a couple of months ago. Hats off as well to Civic San Diego, to Parks and Recreation, and of course Brad Richter with the City's Urban Division for shepherding this project through. <laughs> and above all, like the Mayor, I want to thank our area residents who have advocated for this park for so many years. It is in no small part due to your advocacy that all of us are here today. Thank you for your efforts. I appreciate everyone who has helped to make this project a reality. And with that, I would like to introduce one of those people, the chair of Civic San Diego, Maddie Kilkenny. Thank you, Councilman. On behalf of my fellow board members and our team at Civic San Diego, we're proud to join you today for this groundbreaking on what will be the new and greatly improved Children's Park. As a former marina resident myself, and now a parent, I can't overstate the importance of parks and open space for the many kids, families, and residents that live downtown. And as downtown becomes more dynamic and is welcoming to all people, it's important that it has appeal and amenities for everyone to live, work, and play right here. Our new children's park will do just that. Civic San Diego is proud to provide construction oversight of this iconic downtown park upgrade, along with the city of San Diego. I'd like to also thank our design and construction partners, Spurlock Landscape Architecture, the project designer, Dick Miller Inc., DMI, sorry, the general contractor, and Kitchell, the project's construction manager. I'd also like to thank, thank the city team at DSD, including Director East Lowe, our short timer Brad Richter, and Kathleen Brand, Andy Field and the entire team at Parks and Rec, as well as Betsy Brennan and our incredible team at the Downtown Partnership. And finally, I always want to acknowledge our staff at Civic San Diego who are overseeing this project. Our fearless leader, Andy Phillips, is here, Daniel Kay, Vice President of Engineering and Construction, and Project Manager Gretchen Herr. And of course, last but not least, the incredible residents, all my former neighbors 
here in Marina. Thank you guys. It is because of you that we are moving this project forward. Now I'd like to turn it over to the steward of downtown, the president and CEO of the Downtown Partnership, Betsy Brennan. Thank you very much for being here today. So this morning, my kids unexpectedly were home distance learning today and I said, why don't you come down to the children's park with me? We can bring the dog and you can go to this event. And they said, mom, there's not really anything fun to do at the children's park. That has to change. So I want something here for my kids and my dog to have fun and for all of us to have fun. So I cannot wait for us to be back here in let's say August or September at a ribbon cutting. As the voice of downtown at the Downtown Partnership, we can't overstate how exciting it is to break ground on new park space in our urban center. We know beautiful, engaging public spaces like this reimagining of Children's Park can be substantial contributors to quality of life in our neighborhoods and the overall economic prosperity and cultural vitality of downtown San Diego. And not only for the families who call downtown home, though I'm sure this project is very high on your list. But this will also provide green spaces for everyone from our residents and our workforce to our out of town visitors to stop, reflect and find moments of joy. Just think about all the people at the new Children's Museum that can come over here and enjoy this park together. And with more than 9,000 additional residential units either under construction or planned for downtown, we know this park will be put to good use, creating memories and fun experiences for families looking to explore and enjoy downtown. We're also happy to continue lending our expertise at the Downtown Partnership Clean and Safe Program to maintain the park's water features and make sure that they continue to look beautiful. And like with many of the other parts of the 275 blocks of downtown that we serve with our clean and safe services, we will also be on hand to make sure the surrounding public spaces shine for you. I'd like to thank um, some people, many of them have already been thanked this morning, but it is no small feat behind the scenes, this kind of project and what it takes to happen. The residents have been involved from the very beginning. I remember talking about this project as far back as 2003. So I am very excited it's 2021 and we are here again to talk about this project. It's been redone a, f a few times and this is going to be the gem of downtown. I'd like to thank Mayor Gloria, the City Council, and in particular, Council President Pro Tem Stephen Whitburn, Civic San Diego, and City of San Diego staff from Urban Division, from Park and Rec, and everybody else that's been involved in this project. I also want to give a special thank you to Brad Richter, who I know has worked on this project on behalf of downtown for a very long time. We can't wait for this new amenity to provide another opportunity for local families, visitors, and everyone in between to rediscover downtown. Thank you very much for your time today. Thank you, Betsy. You know, its name has been mentioned a couple of times, and I'm always concerned this is the last time that Brad and I are going to be together at a downtown event. Brad, when's your retirement date? Mid-July. Mid this could be it. You know, there's Alonzo Horton and then there's Brad Richter. In terms of people who really made the uh, imprint on downtown San Diego, Brad has done incredible work for our community. Can we ask for a big round of applause for Brad Richter? We may see each other again at another ribbon cutting or groundbreaking, but just in case, I want to make sure that we acknowledge his service to the city and particularly to downtown. Listen, I want to wrap up by just thanking all of you for being here. There's going to be some construction. There's going to be some noise and some racket, but it's worth doing because by next summer, we will have a new and improved park, a park where you can bring your children. Yes, Betsy. Kids don't lie, right? They tell the truth. Well, I recognize it's misnamed at the moment. We'll have children here. We'll have a vendor here. We have the opportunity to exercise, bring your uh, pet. This will be a much improved experience, and it'll be because of the community's support for this project. Last thing I want to say, I'm your mayor. There's a pandemic. If you haven't gotten vaccinated, for God's sakes, please go and get it done. Let's put this to bed so that we can come together into this beautiful park without masks on in the not distant future. Is that a, that a deal? Does that work for everybody? Right on. You go see our firefighters. They're up at the municipal gym right now providing out vaccines. Let's get this done. Let's get back to work. All right. With that, we'll start with working by turning some dirt here. Can I get the speakers to line up and behind these uh, behind these shovels, please? Two, one. All right.
Get it done. Anyone else want to take a picture? Come on up.